we wish to confirm that the joint investigations team as today, June 7th, 2022, charged and arrested Geoffrey Bwaliamwamba, aged 63, of plot number 2623, Leopards Hill Road, New Kasama, for eight counts of conflict of interest, contrary to section 28, subsection 2, as read with subsection 3 of the Anti-Corruption Act number 3 of 2012 of the laws of Zambia. This is in a matter where Mr. Gwadia, when he was Minister of Defense between 2012 and 2013, failed to disclose his interest in writing on three Zambia Army contracts and five Zambia Air Force contracts that were awarded to Kazon Global Limited by Ministry of Defense. It is alleged that the same Geoffrey Bwaliamwamba had interest in the said Kazon uh, Global Limited. He has also been charged and arrested for one count of money laundering, contrary to Section 7 of Prohibition and Prevention of Money Laundering, Act Number 14 of 2001, as read with Amendment Act Number 44 of 2010. The allegation involves a sum of 632,000 US dollars. Further, Mr. Waliamwamba has been charged and arrested for 15 counts of being in possession of property reasonably sus suspected to be proceeds of crime, contrary to Section 71, Subsection 1 of the forfeiture of proceeds of, of the forfeiture of proceeds of crime, Act Number 19 of 2010, involving a sum of 2,149,000 and 20 million kwacha, respectively. Furthermore, in the same matter, Mr. Audofas Mubanga, aged 58, of plot number 11438 Makeni in Lusaka, has been charged and arrested for three counts of being in possession of property reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime. Uh, this is contrary to Section 71, Subsection 1 of the Forfeiture of Proceeds of Crime Act Number 19 of 2010, involving a sum of 5 million. 555. Therefore, both have been detained in police custody and will appear in court soon. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Mol, the, the, the family uh, members are complaining that he has been denied police bond when he qualifies. So, uh, any explanation to him being denied the police bond pending court appearance? Yeah, we have just, I'm sure you are here as members of the press. We have just uh, concluded the procedure, so it would be too early for me to comment why they haven't given him a police bond. We have just concluded just now, a few minutes ago. Yes, thank you very much. Yeah, colleagues, just like it, just like it was reported uh, on social media last night and in major prints today, Honorable GPM has been detained here at uh, Woodlands Police Station and uh, Will not, he has not been given bail uh, pending appearance in court tomorrow. So they will take him to court tomorrow. He has been detained here at Women's Police. That is as it is, as it's at it stand right now. What are the charges? Well, there are a number of issues. And the lawyer uh, be in a better position to, to talk about the charges um, because he was previewed to the charges where I was not whereas I was not privy to the charges. But this pertains to some transactions going back to 2012. That's what the status is. When was yes, when he was still Minister of Defense, before he joined UPND. And you can imagine, he was UPND Vice President for four years and was UPND HH's running mate in 2016. And uh, those are the issues they are bringing up. How I wish they had brought those issues up when he was running mate and he was the uh, vice president in UPND. But as it were, it's not all these issues are being brought up now. What's your take that is the latest case uh, Well, we've said this several times. We've said this several times before to say the manner in which these things are being are being carried out will be perceived to be persecutions because lo and behold. You can't go back to 2012. But you know, 
it is showing a certain pattern. All of you can see, everybody can see, even a, a two-year kid can see the pattern these, these things are taking. Why is it that they are so active on these particular issues which happened in 2012? What has happened to the 50 million fertilizer issue that has been reported about? What has happened to the gentleman who went to buy, to buy cement at a plant and came out with a calendar in a briefcase? Why are they not pursuing those particular issues? And many other issues. What about the abuse of office that we are seeing? Why are they not pursuing that? Uh, Honorable Mwetua issued a statement two, two, two days ago saying that his list for those who must be recruited has not been considered. How do you pursue, how, how do you, do, what do you, do you take from that? Is that not abuse of office? Is that not, uh, not overstepping? Why is the anti-corruption commission in all this? So these are the issues colleagues will have to deal with. But uh, GBM remains strong and he was ready for it and is in high spirit. So we we'll wait for tomorrow, colleagues. Thank you very much.